Hi my dear parents, soon to be parents, and all guardians. Welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In our today's video, I'm going to share why children should not sit in a W position or frog position. But before we start, I would like to remind you guys that this video is only for informational and educational purposes only. So let's get started. Why children should not sit in a W position? Kids enjoy moving quickly and frequently, isn't it? They typically have batteries that don't need to be charged very often and they are naturally very active. However, when it is quiet time or there are brief periods of inactivity, kids lie down on the ground with a toy or a book. And as a parents, we must pay attention to how they are sitting. Babies frequently sit frog style with their legs folded and their feet flat on the ground. Yes, these are both normal and healthy sitting positions, but a different, more common one can worsen the damage to their developing bones and joints. The W position is regarded as maybe the worst one that a child could develop. The children must sit with their feet, inner thighs, and knees flat on the ground. The legs form a W and the feet align themselves with the spine. Because they feel safe and stable, kids enjoy it. They never give any thought to the stress it causes or the potential long-term effects. The knees and hips in particular suffer from this seated position. This location is one of the most frequent early risks associated with the W position. It stresses the spine and sets the knees and hips at awkward angles. And in the future, a child who prefers to sit W may have some problem with central stabilization. And this may result in an incorrect body posture. For example, slouching or walking with a strongly protruding belly or bottom. And when a child sits in a form of a W for a too long and too often, there is a greater risk of developing postural defects, valgus knees and feet, standing and walking with legs pointing inwards, pelvic misalignment, and scoliosis. And, when the child sits on the letter W, he may also have problems with the hip joints in the future. The position of the letter W is also associated with problems with motor coordination and maintaining balance. Coordination problems can translate into drawing and writing difficulties, trouble catching the ball, etc. Additionally, specific leg muscles are shortened and tense from sitting like this. It might cause unwanted pulls and strains. And my dear parents, probably you ask me, what additional possibilities are there if kids should not sit in a W? When we notice our kids sitting like way, how should we approach them? So my dear parents, think about a different letter in the alphabet. Encourage your child to sit like A, V rather than a W. And you could also use the shape of his legs or her legs in various postures as a teaching tool by demonstrating it to him or her. Without the risk of muscle damage or dislocation, this offers the same level of stability. The child even has the chance to stretch their muscles while having a better floor movement. They are unrestricted in their ability to bend and twist. So, every time you notice your child seated in the W, be sure to correct him or her. Motivate him or her early to promote good habits. They are easier to teach in the early age, and it's more difficult to break bad habits. My dear parents, remember this. Children will sit on the floor lesser as they become older. But while we have the chance, we should assist them stay healthy and avoid doing anything that could create additional risks. And that's all for today, my dear parents, soon-to-be parents, and all guardians. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that you like our video today. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And just a little favor, please subscribe to our channel for more new videos to come. And I will really appreciate it if you all stay connected. Thank you and have a nice day all. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!